New week kicks off with 10 games in the game and you get to see all of the action on today's Dell KHL update. We begin our journey in Omsk where Avangard holds top 10 on the list. Not a lot of scoring in this one and it all comes in the third period. Balance shoots because his force of the season to open up the scoring late in the final frame. 1-0 Avangard. Soon after that, Sergei Kalinin, that's a beauty. Avangard's captain stormed down the right wing, cuts into the slot and double home team's lead. 2-0. All of time Delis could get on this one is a late marker by Alexis Simakov, but that wasn't enough to get any points for off time delays. 2 1, Avangard is your final. We're in Astana, Kazakhstan now, Boris face Magnitka. Early in the first, we get to see a fight between Damir Ruspayev and Evgeny Timkin. It's a good matchup and a good fight. I'd call a tie on this one. Shortly after that, Magnitka get on the board. Renato Brogimov gets the puck down low and scores with a nice move. That's his first of the season, and it's a bit unusual to see him that dip. A few minutes later, Denis Platonov puts the puck on net, rebound follows, and Oscar Asal is there to tuck it in. He was the one who started the play too. 2 0 Magnitka. Still on the first, and here comes Platonov again. He goes behind the net, throws it in the slot, and it bounces in. Platonov was his second point of the night, and it's 3 0 Magnitka. We skip ahead to the third now. Boris tried to make a comeback. With just over 5 minutes left in regulation, Nigel Dawson has his 28th of the year to bring Boris within 2, 3-1. And just a couple of seconds later, Nick Anshpov gets to the net with bodies all around him, feeds Roman Starchenko and he scores. Great play by Anshpov leads to another goal by Boris. That's all they're gonna get tonight though. Magnitka holds on to the lead and takes 3 points on the road. 3-2 Magnitka final. Next on the menu, the green rivalry, Salavat Yulayev meet Akbar Sinufa. These guys can't stand each other. First period, Salavat with a man advantage, Alexander Kutuzov gets the puck in the right circle and he goes top shelf to open up the scoring. What a shot. 1-0 Salavat. Late in the period, Konstantin Koltsov sets up Justin Azaveda for a shot and Azaveda delivers. That's his 15th of the year and that extends his point streak to 6 games. 1-1 after 20. Here now, Denis Topeka gets the puck in the high slot, takes a shot, and scores his seventh of the season. Topeka scores in his second consecutive game, too. 2 1 Salavat. A few minutes later, Salavat on a counter attack. Timo Hardikan makes a great saucer pass in front, and Anton Slapashev pokes it in. Two Oilers prospects combine on this one. 3 1 Salavat. Here now, Salavat on a power play, and they score again. Kirill Kolsa puts it on net, and Hardikan scores on a rebound. That's his tenth of the year, and Salavat lead 4-1 now. Akbar's dream of a comeback, and they get pretty close to it. Igor Mirnov scores his seventh with six minutes to go on regulation. It's a two-goal hockey game now, 4-2. Akbar's pulled the goal for an extra attacker and score again. Mikhail Varnikov has his 15th of the year to make it 4-3. The net is still empty, and Salavat exploited. Alexander Kutuzov scores his second of the night to wrap it up. Salavat win this one on home ice. 5-3 Salavat to live final. This is Tolyade, home of Lada, and tonight they go head to head with Sevier. Just over a minute in, Sevier opened up the scoring. Vladimir Batuzov scores his fifth of the season on a rebound. 1 0 Sevier. Lada tied up late in the period. Anton Schenf beats Georgi Belausov in front, and he beats Alexander Salat. Schenf and Belausov have been productive for Lada lately. Moving on to the second, Sevier on a four check. They're aggressive, and they get rewarded for that. Sergei Shimakov sends one in for his tenth of the year, and Sevier retake the lead 2 1. They won't let go of it. Igor Zhuganov scores an empty net a late in regulation, and Sibir win the 10th game out of the last 11. They just don't care, do they? 3 1 Sibir final. We're in Hunter Mansisk now. Yugra face Amor. First period, Amor has the puck. Ruslan Bashkirov goes for a wraparound. The puck bounces to Slava Litovchenko, and he sends it in for his third of the year. 1 0 Amor. Let's head over to the second frame now. Dmitry Rybikin gets the puck on the blue line, takes a shot. Igor Magana tips it in front and it ends up in the net. Tie game 1 1. Late in the period, Yugur gets the go ahead goal. Lukas Kospar puts one past Sergei Borisov on a power play for his 15th of the year. 2 1. Early in the third now. Mikhail Fisenko takes a shot. It's deflected and it's in. It wasn't that good of a shot, but deflection made all the difference. We tied at twos. After for the period, Pavel Valentenko puts the puck on that. Kaspar tips it, and he scores his second of the night to put Yugur up 3-2. And a few minutes later, Nikita Gusev scores a security goal to ensure Yugur's W. Gusev's point streak is extended to three games now. 4-2 Yugur final on this one.
This is Nizhnikamsk and tonight Nefti Kimik hosts Kuzna. No scoring in the first, but there's plenty in the second and third. Yaroslav Olszewski opens up the score in the third L7. That's his third, and it's 1-0 Nefti Kimik. Late in the period, they double their lead. Igor Polugalov sends one in on a 2-on-1 -on -one rush. Classic, 2-0 home team up to 40. Third period now, and Igor Milovzorov makes it 3-0 Nefti Kimik as he scores on a rebound. A little later, Yevgeny Gurgurenko puts on a few nice moves in the high slot and scores another one. Full throttle. 4 0 Neftikimik, and Kuzna just can't stop them tonight. In the final 10 seconds of the game, Neftikimik scores twice. First, Dan Saxon makes his 16th of the season with a near wrister. Then, Evgeny Gurgurenko scores his second of the night and seventh of the season to give us our final. 6 0 Neftikimik. Not even a contest. Next up, Yaroslava Lokomotiv go up against Medvishak. First period, Brandon Single takes a shot, it goes wide off the end boards and straight to Sasha Martinovich, who sends it in for his first of the season. 1-0 Medvishak. Halfway through the period, Loko tie it up. Yunus Holos takes a long shot and Igor Yakovlev scores on a rebound. That's his sixth and he makes it 1-1. Late in the period, Ilya Lubushkin sends a long pass to Jeff Platt, he's in on a breakaway and he scores. Jeff Platt puts Loko up by one with his first of the night. And before the time expires on the first, Lokomotiv improved the lead to 3-1. Kirill Kapustin scores his sixth of the season. Nice battle along the boards by Vladislav Kartayev there. Second period now, Medvedev on a power play and they convert. Bill Thomas sends it in for his 11th of the year. Great passing out there by Medvedev. 3-2. Moving on to the third now, and Medvedev bring it all back to even. Former local defenseman Mark Flood that's his sixth and with tied at threes early in the final frame. But Jeff Blatt comes to the rescue. With exactly six minutes left in regulation, he scores his second of the night and 16th of the year. That's the game winner, too. Loco take three points on home ice. 4 3 local final. And a few more scores to tell you about. Tractor beat Admiral 3 1 as Artem Pinkowski picked up two assists. Vitas beat Slovan 2 1 in overtime. Myra Kempi with the winner. And finally, Sochi beat Admiral 6 4. Evgeny Lopinkov scored a hat trick in this one. And that's it for your Dell KHL update. We got a great day of hockey ahead of us. Don't miss it. My name is Andrea Sachin. See you guys soon.